Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'll be talking about uh, the trail calculator and the way for us to get more than uh, one value of our water saturation. Okay. So if you see here in this petrol model, this is I'm going to use well three. In well three. I have more than one reading for water saturation for that 102 meters of, of depth. So you can see here, for example, uh, and this is horizon 3, right? So horizon 3 and well 3, I have 93 and 24. Uh, feet. I have only two readings of water saturation, but now I have a whole log for for water for water saturation from zero to one hundred percent. Okay, so the way to do that is from a Petra calculator. You just right click on the well and you go to calculator. So this is the calculator. Okay. So you see these equations correspond to these equations I explained in the previous video in the Excel sheet. So here we have the porosity from the density log. So uh, I'm just going to create a, a new log to explain it to explain it to you. So I'm just going to call it a uh, or done two. So what this means is that um, I'm going to get a uh, porosity from the density log and I'm just going to multiply it by two. So porosity density is B19 minus B17. B19 is matrix density and B17 is bulk density. Okay, we get bulk density from the density log itself. So B19 is uh, 2.65 minus bulk density. So we're just going to go to the density log here. Click it. So now we have a density log, a log connected to our new log. So whenever this changes, it's going to affect this log. That's how we get the gradient. Divided by, divided by B19 minus B20. So B19 is matrix density again, and B20 is fluid density. Divided by 2.65 minus 0 0.8 and uh, I'm going to multiply everything by 2 this is the symbol for it, it's just general, you don't have to click any of these and uh, you just click enter so now we have a new log, so if we exit the calculator Uh, I'm going to activate the density and the port density too. So you can. So we have this is our new log. This is the new one. And this is the original one that I created at the time. So you can see uh, that uh, the original one is ranges from negative zero, uh, negative zero point one three. So this is the double, so it's 2, 6. And this is 45, and this is 91. So the double, the scale. So if they have the same shape, you can see they are the same shape. And the double, the scale, it means this one is the double, the value. So it means this is correct. So now before in the Excel sheet, we just got one value. But now we have a whole range of values. So if we right click on the port density, you go to spreadsheet, 
we're gonna see uh, we just match the depth of the zone of interest this is MD and we take all this let's say this is the range so now instead of, of one value we have a range of value this is um, very important when you populate your model in later on because it's it makes your model more accurate okay that would be all uh, one more thing is that you just uh, if we go back to the petrol calculator uh, if you wanna let's say okay let's say you finished for density two or let's say for density right you're gonna have it here so in the in the logs so let's say after you finish for density you want to make something else let's say for example that porosity average so you can link uh, you can link the new log that already has a log li link to it which is density and you can link it with another log which is porosity neutron to make porosity average so what I'm trying to say is that these logs are interconnected so that at the end you can reach to your you can reach to the to your water saturation so the water saturation is is a combination of fixed values and original values of the original logs from geology and values from the newly created logs like uh, corrected neutron logs on v shell and so on and so forth that's how you reach to your uh, final water saturation. I posted uh, the the all the equations, and you also can take a screenshot for it in the in the previous video. Thank you very much.